The True Story of the Mysterious Monongahela Monster Once upon a time, by the shores of the Monongahela River, in a small village in the Mon Valley lived a brother and a sister. By the shore sat a little girl named Rosalina and a little boy named Johnny. As the two of them sat by the shore, Rosalina decided to play in the water. The water is dangerous because monsters lurk in the water, and the strong currents can sweep people off their feet. Johnny warned Rosalina not to play in the water, but Rosalina did not listen. Just as she was playing in the water, a strong gust of wind blew by, pushing Rosalina into a rip current. Help, Johnny! Someone help! Rosalina! Just as Johnny began to swim after Rosalina, he noticed something in the water heading towards her. Rosalina, watch out! There's something coming towards you! Just as Johnny was about to reach Rosalina, a monster appeared out of the water to rescue her and return her back to shore. Ah! Put me down! Put me down! Help! The mysterious monster returned Rosalina safely to shore as Johnny swam back. Nervous as can be, Rosalina turned to the monster and said, Thank you, mysterious monster! You saved my life! The mysterious monster looked at Rosalina and Johnny and said with a sad look on his face, You're welcome. Just be careful down there by the shores, especially without an adult nearby to watch. We will. Yes, we will be very careful. Well, I should be going. Take care and be safe. Wait, who are you? I am Monty, or as most people refer to me as, the mysterious Monongahela monster. I live in the Monongahela River to protect the village from any harm that may come into the waters. For example... I help keep the river pirates from coming to the shores of the village. I also help keep away the floods by using my tail. However, the villagers do not want me lurking in the waters because they believe I am more harmful than good. They think because I look like this, I am here to hurt them. The villagers do not understand that I only want to protect them from harm. I have no friends, but I have always longed for them. We will be your friends, right, Rosalina? Yes, everyone deserves friends. Really? Do you mean it? Oh, happy day! Friends, such caring, wonderful friends, kind, endearing friends, stand by each other when times get tough. Friends, such caring, wonderful friends, kind, endearing friends, stand by each other when times get tough. Don't need to be mean or scream and shout when you got great friends to help you out. Friends. Once Rosalina, Johnny, and Monty got to know each other, the three all had a wonderful day. They played ball on the shores of the Mon River, played hide and seek, and told jokes on the shore. Here's a joke for you. Okay. Let's hear it. Okay. What did the ocean say to the land? What? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's a good one. Kids, join in. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry. It's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more. What do mermaids sleep on? Waterbeds. All in all, they got along very well together. Johnny, Rosalina, can I ask a question? Would you two want to play again tomorrow? Yes. Yes, we would be delighted to come back and play. Let's meet here by the shore after lunchtime tomorrow. I will be here. As day turned into night, the two kids realized they had such a great day with a new friend. The next day was full of wonders and fun. Johnny and Rosalina arrived at the shore right on time, but the monster was nowhere to be seen. Sorry, there are no clocks underwater, so I had no way of knowing what time it was. So I just sensed with my tail when you two would appear on the shore. That's okay. Yeah, so what should we do today? Well, I was thinking. But before the monster could finish talking, there was a noise in the distance. The noise of angry residents who have spotted the boy and the girl talking to the monster. The angry villagers rushed to the shore in order to protect the girl and the boy. Stop! 
Hey kids, can you use your voice to help stop the people of this small town from hurting Monty? Good! It is not what you think. This monster of the Monongahela River is not bad. He is good. Yeah, we spent hours with him yesterday telling jokes, laughing, swimming, and getting to know each other. The Monongahela monster is not a bad monster. He saved my life! I was getting swept away in the water and he came to save me. You really should not judge a book by its cover. Just because he is a monster, that does not instantly make him bad. He protects our village in California, Pennsylvania from any and all harm. I am proud to call him my friend. Not only did he save my sister, but he also showed me what real friendship is. It does not matter what you look like or where you come from. What really matters is friendship. That connection between you and someone else that makes you feel happy and safe with them. And that is exactly what the Monongahela monster has shown both Rosalina and me. As the crowd of villagers began to realize they were completely wrong about the mysterious Monongahela monster, they began to accept him as a protector of their small town and thanked the monster for all he has done for them. As for Johnny and Rosalina, they still remain best friends with the Monongahela monster and even bought him a waterproof clock so that he could know the time from underwater. After that, Monty the mysterious Monongahela monster was not so mysterious anymore after all he has done to protect the small town in the Monongahela Valley. We have a friend 